is there like a best stage to peak with the EWS? I think there's too much going on to really put a number on it. Daily, look at his age. Sam's got three kids and married and he's in his 30s. The young guys have done it in the past. On the flip side, Jared's a bit older when he did it. Jerome was. I guess some years a young dude's gonna win it. Maybe Sam's gonna win it. Who knows? Curtis Keene was to drop the mic on Sunday, and that'd be the final EWS. What would you do? I'm never going to retire, first of all. I'm always going to ride my bike. I'll probably want to do like a national race or something, or a fun race. Going to leave one for the kids here. I'll never retire from racing. Race, there's too much fun in that and the challenge and I don't know there's like I said you kind of get a, a special feeling from that that you don't get anywhere else this is it the end the home of the last round you know the home of the end of the season every year they do a pretty good job of giving us new trails thousand meters of descending on stage one and stage two has got another 800 and where did it come from like, and how do they keep on finding trails like this it's amazing one last race seven stages seven final opportunities to write your name into the enduro history books or engrave a sensation into your memory banks everything has to end somewhere what better place than here? Obviously, in the beginning of On Track, it was new, something different. People either liked it or they didn't, right? I didn't want it to be about me. Being about me solely is just going to be boring. But I wanted it to be about the racing we're doing and taking a bit of everyone's story as well. <laughs> hey, let it go! No brakes, Tyler. Can I take this? Dude, that was perfect. There's a red light flashing, bro. Okay, this is it. <laughs> this is Enduro. Adventure, Adventure. bro. Adventure, Enduro. <laughs> Just an extra minute. <laughs> quick it does come up. No complaints here. You're back at the beach here in Finale. It's a hell of a way to go out. Coming into this race, leading the points, hopefully everything goes to plan and, and then uh, my mind can kind of ease off a bit. I've just got to block everything else out and, and treat it like another race and just charge forward. Among the various possibilities envisioned by the racers here in Finale, this wasn't one of them. Man, I was wasn't riding over my head, and I just came to a rock section and just instant flat. Just knocked my knee on my shifter. Did you pass near the top? Yeah. 
and snapped off my gear shifter paddles. I can't believe this run of luck now, but it's out of control. A bike race isn't supposed to end like this. One of us was done, so it's either going to be Jared or me, and he's got an overall to keep in the top 20 protected. At this point, just taking my shifter and being positive about it. As I say, it's racing, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But I'm sick of saying that. These aren't the two wheels a season's supposed to end on. But it doesn't mean you can't still enjoy the ride. We're gonna go watch the bottom of four. Cheer on the ladies and the boys. Five years, 37 chances at a race win. But just four elite women have claimed every single victory. An exclusive group of only 14 men have stood on the top step of the podium. If you ride mountain bikes and your desire is to race the best, come to grips with the fact that the odds are very much against you ever taking home a win doesn't mean that the challenge isn't worth taking on. Before EWSs, I never received a paycheck for riding a bike. And of course, I've had like good races and won races, maybe not EWS, but plenty of national things. And so I wouldn't even think that. I think it's more the fact that you kind of put a smile on people's face, you know, get them all fired up to ride bikes. I think that's pretty cool. I'm very, very humbled and grateful for all that. And I'm just going to keep doing my thing. And whatever's meant to be is meant to be. Cody's definitely riding the best he's ever ridden now. Like, he's definitely got the fire still. I take a lot of motivation from that. Like, as long as the fire's still there and you're willing to do what it takes to stay on top, which both of us absolutely are, so... Young kids are doing some pretty cool things, but we got some tricks up our sleeves, too. We've seen Sam Pill step in. Firstly, it's massively humbling to have someone, actually a real hero of mine, take so much effort and pride in working it out and terrifying at the same time because I realised that actually this beast has grown to the point where guys like heroes of the sport are really having to work to do well. This isn't seven downhill tracks. They can't change stuff after every uh, lap. They have to look after themselves through the day. They are, in my view, the ultimate, you know, uh, mountain biker now, which is amazing because that was always a vision, right? Becoming the best mountain biker on the planet involves complicated physics. Looking fast doesn't always mean you're riding fast. And riding fast doesn't necessarily guarantee you'll win. But what Sam Hill has done this season has been all of the above. Yeah, well, I think that's the cool thing about Enduro. It's kind of, I've made some great friends this year and cruising to the top and racing each other down and uh, have a few laughs and makes the day go better. Setting goals, it's, it's kind of driven me and motivated me to where I am today. And I think if you don't have a, a goal or a dream, then you don't have anything to aim for. So it's a massive part of, of being able to achieve what you want to achieve. Sam's out there uh, just chasing the dream still. I think enduro, for me, it gives you time outside and time with people. It gives us the opportunity to bring that outdoor element into the sport of mountain biking, which is why I think it's connected with mountain bikers, because that's what most people want to go and do, right? They're, they're trail runners, they're, they're climbers, they're skiers, they're mountaineers. They own a mountain bike, they ride in the summer. That's what we should all be aiming to be, too. Sam Hill. 
so this is it. We've arrived. For all but a very select few, the ending was always going to be bittersweet. Trails End, the conclusion of another EWS season. No place left to go, but everywhere. I've been a day we're all out there for the same reasons, and if you see me, say hi, or maybe chase me down on the trail or smoke me up a hill. I don't know. Let's just go ride bikes. Thanks for the love, support. Yeah, man. Still lots of bike riding left, unfortunately. Nothing gets in the way of the shot. Get your shot! <laughs> Nothing gets in the way of the shot! <laughs> 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 